Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei Y6s, and today I will show you how to set up the Do Not Disturb mode. So number one, you want to pull down the notification panel, and if you don't see Do Not Disturb mode anywhere right here, you want to tap on the pencil right here to edit all the toggles, and you should see it somewhere in here. So it's this little moon icon. You want to grab it, and you can actually move it and drag it over here, and go back. And now you can see that you have the toggle for Do Not Disturb mode. Now, if you want to enable it manually, you can just simply tap on it like so and uh, give you the message. So it's tap on enable. And now it will be active, which you can also see by this icon right here of the moon, uh, that the devices do not disturb mode. And to disable, you would just tap on it again till it becomes gray and now it's off. Now, if you want to set it up manually, so, or automatically, so it does it basically on its own, turns off and on on its own at specific times, you want to hold the icon. So once more, where you have the icon, you want to hold it instead of tapping on it, and it will take you to the settings. And from here, you have the general toggle for it to turn it on or off. Then you have the schedule, which you can enable. You can tap on the schedule to edit it. So from here, you'll have repeat from and to. So number one, let's set repeat. And here we have Monday to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day, or custom. Custom will allow you to choose each day independently. So let's just tap on it and it gives you this check boxes that you can enable like so. So for instance, I can set up a work day without like Friday as an example. Um, so let's just make it Monday to Thursday. Then from, what's this time it starts? So let's choose nine, choose nine a.m. like so. And then two, I want to make it to 5 p.m. Okay. And now let's go back. I can set that it's set. All you need to do now is turn it on. And it automatically turns on the upper one because of the time. It's right now almost 2 p.m., which falls under the time for the schedule. So from here, you also have allow uh, or interruptions that you can allow through. So calls, you have everyone, contacts, favorite, or none. Choose whichever one suits you the most. Uh, basically, what it will do is whatever you set. So for instance, if you have favorite contacts, uh, you have to have some contacts added to favorites. And then even though you would have do not disturb mode on and normally it would block everybody, the favorite contacts will be excluded from that and they will still be able to reach you as though you wouldn't have the do not disturb mode enabled. So you can choose it to no one, then everybody will be blocked no matter of uh, if there are any contacts list in your favorite. Basically, no one will be able to reach you. You have also the contacts option and everyone, which everyone defeats the purpose of the do not disturb mode, in my opinion. Okay. And then you have the message messages, which comes with the same options as calls. And then you have this nice option right here, repeat colors. And this I would consider a, as an emergency option. So you can have that enabled. And if someone calls you within three minute period, uh, twice, no matter what the calls uh, are set to, the second time they will actually be able to reach you even though the first time they will uh, blocked. So you you could have basically uh, no one can reach you. So no matter who they are, they will never be able to reach you. But as long as they call twice within three minutes, the second time you will actually get the call. So like I said, this is a kind of an emergency. Usually when people are panicking or stuff like that, they will call you multiple times within minutes of, of call like calls. So um, this would be a fairly good option to have if, if you want to be aware of some emergencies. So that is how you would set up the Do Not Disturb mode. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.